There we are. Ah, nice. Lovely. How are we doing? Good morning. Good morning. Yes. It was the 28th of June. Uh, 28th, 29th of June. 29th of June. Wow. Yeah. And uh, it's almost finished, apparently. It's done now. Um, thunderstorms. And then now we're going to continue rain until next March. So we'll have <laughs> some nice early summer again. And um, Everybody so. calls it early summer every year. Maybe it's just summer. <laughs> It's moved to April. Time. Yeah. It's moved. Yeah. Global warming. Those two days last week, it was oh, super warm, and that's it now. No, Finished. that's not true. We've had some beautiful... This English people always do this, right? Yeah, but those two days were particularly your weeks, hot. Yeah, but you have weeks of really beautiful weather. And yeah, then it, it rains, nice and we go, oh, well, we're getting the summer this year, aren't we? It's <laughs> all right. I'm sure the Daily Mail will declare a, a heat wave. Declare a heat wave very soon. Yes, I'm sure they will. They like declaring heat waves, the Daily Mail, don't they? Um, heat wave coming. I mean, we don't think it's one, but. <laughs> coming in three weeks' time on the long range super forecast because there's a touch of warm weather somewhere yeah. halfway around the world. <laughs> yeah, that's always good. That's always good. Well, do you know what? I think that's why we've got such a beautiful countryside in this country, isn't it? It is true. Because nice. we get such good rain. <laughs> Variable weather. Yeah. Yeah. So, totally. we've got a very beautiful country. On the, the, the grass is growing well. The grass, the grass That's is always growing well. We need a new mower. My mower is great, thank you. We need to start a new one. Yeah, we do. It's very, very old. There we go. So we are going to do two more of these morning. Two more. Two more. Loss. Finish at the end of the month. Oh no, loss. Um, that's not because we don't enjoy doing it, because we very we much do. do enjoy doing it, um, but because lots of people are. Going back to work, getting their kids are going back, have gone or are going back to school, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's the time for us to move things forward a little bit and do something slightly different. And that's not to say we're not going to be doing something. Um, I have been wanting to start doing a little podcast for ages, so we're going to start doing that instead, um, and then we'll put that out every week. And I think I think we'll probably record it on a Wednesday. We're going to do a video. I'll just turn up. You know, yeah. there'll be a video part which will go on YouTube, and then there'll be actually just a listening part that will go. I am on. literally just hearing this for the first well, time. It's good. It's good. I'm glad. You, glad you know. You know. Now. Called rolling with it. Rolling with it, and then there'll be a recorded part, um, just because particularly my features, people prefer that. Ah, oh, thanks, Ian. You know, sad face at the start. But you know, it might be more concise. There might be more um, useful content. More useful content. In the podcast, yeah, I think the thing is as well. It's been like quite focused on a particular topic or thing. Three something. months of lockdown now, mm -hmm. and um, you know, as things start to ease up, you know, we put this in place when lockdown started yep. to kind of help continue a level of community and keep people connected. Um, and it's been brilliant for that. Hey, yes, that as people are able to connect more and more in the real world, in the real sense, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, yeah. Yeah, new season, to, new things. Going to move things around a little bit. Um, and at, at some point, uh, I'll be potentially back at work as well, which will be a at different some start point, times. I mean, yeah, who knows, who knows when? Who knows, let's be honest. Potentially different start times and things like that. So, some mornings I won't be able to do this. Anyway, at all. anyway yeah. So, uh, there to plan for that rather than uh, just stop suddenly. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to do today and tomorrow, um, and then we'll have to get used to just having coffee with each other, which, you know. Controversial. I don't know about that. Uh, actually talking to you. <laughs> we'll see. Without some sort of like, video mediation. Yeah, third party. <laughs> it's true. But it's, it, it's definitely been a summer like that. Um, I did a post on from a Daily Focus about having... Um, setting an inspiring challenge and I guess well with health and fitness I know people that I work with have plans to do things like Tough Mudder this year um, a group of people that I know really well from the gym always do Total Warrior every year mm. and so whilst it was a post about set, doing those things having that kind of challenge, inspiring challenge to keep you going that's a bit bigger than just I want to lose a bit of weight or I want to yeah. uh, look a bit better 
um, it was actually it's opened up a bigger discussion really of how do you do that when so much stuff has been cancelled in a sense mm. and moved around um, and I know people who are training for the London Marathon that's moved people are training for Bradford half marathon 10k there's also that, that race weekend that's potentially moved to October Great North Run's been moved completely to next year now so some big target things have been really moved um, and I think having a target that's a few months away is quite easy to work towards when it's those few months plus another year then, yeah. it's, then it becomes a lot harder it does. Um, and I, I think it's probably the same for things like holidays that people have had to cancel or like, really put on hold um, it's hard to look forward to that when it's yeah. now going to be another whole year away or what to do instead um, so yeah it's a it's a strange time for that it's a strange time for that and I I guess we've always had kind of quite long term things we're looking towards from time to time mm. it's not so much to those longer term kind of challenge things aren't for me, stuff come, tends to come around fairly quickly if you don't think about it. If you don't think about it, yeah. Um, as in, if you don't start to think about it and plan for it, yeah. quite a long long way in advance. But at the same time, you know, what do you focus on right now as a positive thing? Yeah. I think, though, that there's kind of small things that you can put in place in, in the meantime. Right. And so if you have... Um, so... I mean, you know what I'm like. We plan a holiday. I will think about that holiday <laughs> all the time. And yeah. I'll plan it and I'll research the area. And, you know, and that's okay if the holiday is in a few months. Mm. But actually, if you're then, if you've had a few months and then your holiday gets cancelled because, you know, global pandemic, and then you have to wait like another year or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, actually, that can feel a, pretty deflating. Mm. And I think to have those small goals in place along the way um so like for instance i know some people who have booked um like to go to a few gigs next year yeah um when things like that open back up so they've got kind of smaller things to look forward to um that they've not been able to do so far this year so i think they've booked like four different um four different gigs that they can go to that kind of thing i think helps um because it gives you smaller things that you're looking forward to yeah along the way i mean there is a school of thought um research school of thought it's not just a, not just my school of not thought not just my school of thought because that's all right <laughs> that having smaller things like that is actually more fulfilling than mm. bigger one-off kind of things yeah uh, often the so the example would might be a big holiday that the actual anticipation is bigger than the, than the, the actual, holiday, yeah. The actual thing itself. Um, you know, I think the same could be said for uh, maybe waiting for years and years and then getting your dream car. The kind of anticipation of getting your dream car yeah. is bigger than the actual, yeah. well, now I'm just driving a car. It's quite, actually, it's better, but it's not much better than the, yeah. the kind of normal car I used to have. Even just things like... Um, kind of putting in weekends mm. so for example go camping for a weekend or um yeah rent a little like a little cottage um for a long weekend to have a staycation like plan a weekend at home where all your social media gets turned off and your phone gets turned off and you you know like have nice things at home and like you're away and you completely disconnect yeah. um you're right there. Lovely. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, and and kind of, you know, get nice food in and get some nice drinks in and watch movies and just have yeah. a family weekend or whatever. I guess the difficulty is partly as well because you know, some people are still needing to, to isolate. They're still being very mm, cautious yeah. because of uh, either their own issues or issues of people they're close with and things mm. like that. So it's a tough one in that you're looking at you can look at some things now and go actually I don't know why that's not going ahead or um, just being obviously people gathering together and it doesn't we don't know yet has it had an adverse effect or not um, but you 
thinking you could almost guarantee if it was kind of like actual organised event, someone was responsible for in a big way, then something would go wrong, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, you've got to... I don't know. We're not the ones making the decisions, are we? We're not the ones with all the research in front yeah. of us. Um, and I can think that I've got a handle on it and I've got a bit of an understanding and some basic science knowledge and whatever, yeah. but I'm not an epidemiologist and I'm not the one well, kind of... they do? Aren't the epidemiologists the one that... Have I just used the wrong word? I don't know. Google it. I'm sure it's the right word. Epidemiologist. Isn't I thought that epidemiologist to do... was to do with skin. Well, I mean, whatever it is, the people that know this stuff, well, I'm going to find out. pandemicologists as if this is... You're a pandemicologist. I don't know. Yeah. What's up, darling? Anyway, my point was, we're not the ones making those decisions. And so the best thing that we can do is, whether we agree with them or or understand them or whatever, is abide by them as much as possible. And if a bunch of people decide that they're going to, you know, have a mass gathering, that doesn't mean that we can then do an organised one, just go, well, they did it, so I'm going to do it too. That's like when your kids do, you know, one of the kids does something, (laughs) end up in, you know, end up in a scrap. Well... He pushed me, so I smacked him in the face. <laughs> yeah, so like, oh, it's like the like same that. mentality, isn't it? Nope. No. Thank you. Is Epidemiology. It? Boom. <laughs> you sucker. The branch of medicine which deals with the incidence, distribution, and possible control of diseases and other factors relating to health. Very good. He's taking down. Please get him down. He's not supposed to be up at the table. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just saying, I'm not an epidemiologist. Um. And therefore, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, you're right. You're it's right. a science brain. I so, as good as it is to have the bigger, inspiring challenges, kind of having the smaller ones for now is probably better. I think so. Maybe I was misplaced with my uh, inspiring um, little videos and things at the moment. At the moment. Why? What were you saying? Just that uh, it's good to have those things. Well, it is good to have those things, but I think if you put the small things in along the way, True. it stops it feeling like it's too far away yeah. and it's unachievable. So really, it was more, it was a, in terms of health and fitness. Carry on, love. I'm going to deal with this one. In terms of health and fitness, it was more to do with um, having performance goals rather than um, just always focus on the changes of... Uh, on the scales or on the uh, in terms of measurements or what you're doing rather than looking really really short to almost day to day week to week it was about looking at something that was further ahead to aim at and actually the kind of training and preparation that goes into something that's particularly a physical challenge event will help with actually making the changes along the way you want to make mm. so that, that's really what it was about um, but it just got me thinking with um, the fact that there's not so many things to aim at at the moment yeah but um, find yeah. some small stuff do find something some with stuff. friends um, yeah totally totally do some small things Ch- like do a challenge with your friends where yeah you know I don't know what it is but find one <laughs> That was useful, wasn't it? Yeah, very helpful. Well done, that. Amazing. Okay, so there we go. So as we said before, we're going to do one more of these tomorrow morning. Yeah. And then uh, switch formats. um, And I'll probably tell Hannah about the rest of it by the time we start. Goodness me. She should have an idea right then. I I won't. I won't know. Mark will just tell me one morning. We're doing this today, babe. All right. This is the topic. Cool. It's a good job. I'm flexible, hey? Yeah. Very. This is good. Works really well. So, have a really good day. Yeah. And enjoy your uh, morning. And um, yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow morning for the last one. Uh, there we go. Okay, take care, guys. Have a good See day. you soon. See you.